G'day guys, I'm out tonight to do a little bit of fox control. I've got some big loosen flats and some rolling country to cover. Something different, I'm on the e-bike, let's rip in. While I've got a little bit of light, I'll give you a look at this e-bike. So it's an e-orb Australia, fat 1000, so dual suspension, it's a 1000 watt motor. It is an off-road bike only, it's not road legal, something to note. Uh, it's got 5 inch fat tyres which are awesome, heaps of grip there. Dual suspension, that certainly soaks up the bumps really well on these corrugated and ploughed paddocks. On the back, it's just saddlebags that I got with the bike from e-orb Australia. They work really well. This grip here, uh, that's actually for the tripod sometimes. I do put it there, it just depends what I'm up to. But up on front, I've actually been preferring the tripod up on there. Uh, main reason being, it gives me something to shoot off. So if I get on the, uh, on the ground, I can put my rifle up on there and shoot. So it seems to work pretty well. They're just another two Culpin grips as well. I've got a little bag on there, I'll just put my phone little bit of gear in it other than that it's pretty standard on the lights front I've got both red and white lights so this is an MSR torch that runs on red LED chips and I've also got a red LED chip headlight on my helmet there up on top there that is a outbound lighting mountain bike headlight and that's the sister one out of the kit on the front forks. Uh, they're not cheap lights, but they certainly do a good job. The red lights are really good when I'm poking around at night. They don't seem to alert the animals too much. Anyway, I'll show you guys how it all works, I guess. It's not even proper dark, fox down. Just cruising between gates on the bike, very quietly, looked across in my red headlight, set of fox eyes, stopped, put the gun on the tripod, boom, fox down. That's one of the advantages of a really quiet bike like this, is you definitely don't put the wind up too many animals to get a shot off, as long as the brakes don't squeak when you stop. This is a good animal to get out of the system. Big old vixen, yellow fangs. She's seen a little bit, won't anymore. That was very fortunate, as you can see, I'm right on the cut line of this green sorghum paddock. As I mentioned before, I like the tripod on the front of the bike because I came around the corner, had a quick look. This guy was on the getaway. I had enough time to get off the bike, throw the gun over the tripod as a bit of a shooting rail. Boom, job done. Probably young animals. A couple of little lip squeaks off this guy. Not too aggressive, just to get him coming towards me. It's probably not my tidiest work, but two for one shot. Check this out.
As I suspected, both of these foxes are young animals. The one on the left, it flapped around in a circle for a while, went nowhere. The one on the right, it actually ran towards me and killed over about five metres away. So I did manage to hit myself on the electric fence going to pick them up, but that's how I roll sometimes, unfortunately. 70 metres. These roos don't care about this bike around them hardly at all. Check this guy out. I just saw this animal move around. It's a feral cat. Well, that certainly makes the night worthwhile. Big black and white feral tomcat. One thing I forgot to touch on while it was daylight is how I'm carrying my rifle. As I showed you, I've got racks on the bike. They're not for the rifle. I've actually got it on a Nigolo sling. It's got two straps. It's a big wide padded thing. It's the Titan II, I think the model is. Uh, it holds it nice and flat against my back, as you can see. Doesn't bounce around too much as I'm buzzing about in the paddocks comes off the shoulder really well when I pull up and I do want to shoot. Best of all, if I bin the bike, which will eventually happen knowing me, hopefully I fall over, the bike falls over, and my gun on the back, it's okay and doesn't get damaged because it's worth quite a bit of money. I'm not going to lie to you guys, that was a little bit of a stuff up. I had planned to play a hair in distress sound, there's quite a few in the area. Inadvertently, I put Vixen on heat playing. So I thought, bugger it, I'm making the noise, let's see what happens. This big guy came tearing in after about a minute and a half, so no complaints, job done, but it very easily could have gone the other way. I've just spotted a fox about 250 metres up here in front of me. We'll zing in on this bike, probably to about 100 metres. See if we can get a shot at it before it goes into the neighbours. Talk about fortunate, I've just zinged down this track into about 100 metres and I've shot the fox that I spotted back up yonder. Great stuff. I thought I'd better have a look around with the mergers. The shot might have upset something. Sure enough, just on the other side of this fence line, there's another fox. It was probably only 30, 40 metres away. I don't even know which one it was that I originally spotted. It could have been the second one that I got. I was quite fortunate to get the second fox, but I'll take it. So far, so good. We've had a really good start to the night. Let's keep going. Spotted another fox up in front of me. Couple of little squeaks that came trotting in. Another one down. Another customer out there, he's about 280 metres away. So we'll close the gap a little bit, change the angle, see if we can get a shot at it. He started blowing the whistle and he came straight in. Perfect, I thought. Well, that was until he started to head downwind and smelt me, or he saw me. It is a completely open paddock and there's a fair bit of moon. Anyway, he started to take off a couple of quick blasts on the trumpet on the T2 whistle, pulled him up, job done.
I haven't missed a shot all night, certainly not taking any prisoners with the 6BR. I've just snuck down to the back corner of the property, checked down on a creek line. I thought I had a fox in front of me. Nope. I am having a good night. Another feral cat. I can already see the comment section going wild from the feral cat lover brigade. Oh well. If only they knew that those bad comments actually all just count towards the algorithm and just promote my video more. So, go your hardest. here he's just set up 44 meters away unreal I've just got another two foxes in the same spot so I've picked up an animal over this fence here I thought we'll get the whistle out see what happens it came tearing in no I'm not going to show you that animal I shot it at about six meters with a 6BR its head's kind of gone uh, I think you'll get the gist of that in the thermal footage, uh, what I didn't realise though was when I had a quick look around through the scope after the shot, there was another animal in behind it still coming towards me. So I kept blowing the whistle, managed to get the drop on that guy too. I think you'll agree, tonight is going extremely well. I've got quite a few foxes, a couple of feral cats. How's the bike going? Look, I haven't got too many complaints. You guys know me, I'm pretty fussy. As for the build, how it rides, fantastic. The suspension's really good. I'm not in extremely rough country out here, but I don't know if I'd want to ride around in really rough stuff on this bike, uh, especially at night anyway. I've had it on some mountain bike tracks through the day, and it's an absolute blast with the 1000 watt motor. But out here, you could certainly get yourself into some trouble if you hit a hole or something like that that you didn't see. The red lights are going really well. The white lights are going really well. Uh, I've had a few little niggles with squeaky brakes after crossing the creek a couple of times. I probably can't do too much about that, if I'm completely honest. Um, it's just the nature of the beast with wet brakes. Potentially, I could put some better pads on there. Maybe. Uh, they are big disc brakes. They do pull the unit up. But they do make a bit of noise when they're wet, so something to keep in mind. As for tyre pressure, I'm running about 12 psi. I know that's low, but they are a large five inch tyre, and they're helping to absorb some of those sharp bumps I'm finding out in these paddocks, even on the farm roads. There's been a lot of rain, so now it's dried out obviously, and all those sharp bumps, cattle hoof prints, things like that, uh, if you rode around with 1000 psi in your tyres, you'd rattle your teeth out, so uh, I do appreciate that. And again, tied in with the dual suspension, it's really nice. Power wise, this thing's rated for 50 kilometers. I haven't actually looked at the taco so far. I've been in the paddock for about five hours and I've used 20%. So uh, you certainly don't use a lot of juice just cruising around like I am. 
One thing I'm finding really handy tonight, as usual, I'm running the Pulsar Merger Thermal Binoculars. Now I can see foxes a long way across these paddocks. There's not a whole lot out here. There's some cropping uh, and a little bit of long wispy grass in some corners, but generally the visibility is really good. So I can see those animals close in. What I've been doing is probably riding into about 150 metres away. And if I can, I just walk up a little bit closer or if they're enticeable by the whistle, I give that a rasp. We've gone to red mode on this fox, copped a subsonic from about 25 metres and it's ears leaking a little bit, so we'll keep it a little bit PG if we can. Fun fact, I'm only about 20 metres from the car, so I was actually scanning the paddock behind where this fox was and he jumped up chasing an insect and I spotted it. So. Uh, Certainly challenging in some of these long grass paddocks, but job done. A little bit frustrating though, the sensor lights on the shed came on as I moved up to get a better angle. So fortunately, this guy was too interested in whatever he was chasing around to bother with me standing there in the light. So that certainly could have gone pear shaped. I've pulled up near the car and I thought I'd better have a quick look in this paddock out in front of me. Sure enough, there's a fox on the getaway. I think we'll call that a night. Down in the video description, I've got a link to the Ebor website. If you are interested in a bike like this, I would encourage you to have a look at that. They're a fantastic machine. No, they're not cheap, but for what I'm doing with this and how close I'm getting to animals, well, I can't wait to get this thing out on some big open stubble paddocks and hoe into some pigs. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Ensure you subscribe to the channel with the bell icon on. I'd appreciate it if you'd like to have a look at my Patreon. We'll see everyone next time.